Yo, what's going on guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back into the video day. And today we're going to be previewing the Houston Astros matchup against the Boston Red Sox as the Astros are playing game 115 today against the Boston Red Sox. It's going to be an interesting three-game series against Boston. Can't wait for this series to start. Astros are still leading in the division, even though the Seattle Mariners made some crazy comeback uh, yesterday against the Tigers. A.J. Hinch was you know, doing good things for us in the first two games of that series against Seattle, and then the third one, they blow a 3-0 lead. That is very, very disappointing. Uh, but at least A.J. Hinch did lead the Tigers a uh, going into the series, you know, seven game under seven or seven game under five hundred team to beat you know a division leader in the Mariners twice in a row. Uh, now they couldn't do that three times when they had the easy win right in front of them, but that's all right. The Astros are still leading the division. Hopefully, the Astros can take care of the Red Sox and the Mets can do. If the Mets can, uh, hopefully, the Mets can do the same. Uh, to the Mariners, what we just saw the Tigers do. If the Tigers can take down the, you know, the the Mariners twice in a row with their struggles this year, the Mets, who are playing a lot better baseball than them, I'm I'm sure can at least win one or two, or maybe all three games against the Seattle Mariners. I think the Mariners probably take one game out of three, um, but I, I could see them. I could see the Mets beating them in this in their upcoming series. But so it should be an exciting weekend for the Astros. Uh, but the Astros always play at least solid in Boston. Uh, they've had some success in Boston last year. They played in Boston. If you guys remember, Jose Altuve had a cycle in Boston last year. Uh, the Astros played in, uh, it was late August last year. Now they're playing early August in um, in uh, Boston. But last year, it was it was great. I think the Astros did win the series like 2-1. to one, um I don't think they swept Boston last year in Boston, but I think the final. I, th- I think the I, th- I think the Astros ended the series with two one, getting the winning winning the series in Boston. I can't remember how the Astros did at home against Boston last year. I don't think it was as good as it was on the road. Uh, but let's get into this game. I really love the pitching matchup for this game. Uh, this this pitching matchup is an example of two pitchers, student, two starting pitchers, who had really bad years last year. And have made a huge, both have made a huge transformation going into this 2024 season compared to the 2024 season. I'll start off with the Boston Red Sox starting pitcher Tanner Houck, uh, a guy who, you know, last year he had a 4.50 ERA and over 20 starts. It was like 21, 22 starts. Didn't have a good year at all. Looked terrible for Boston. This year he has. A ERA of three was selected into his first All Star game. Not only that, but he pitched a uh, a shutout for the Boston Red Sox as well, pitching all nine innings. And then let's go to Renel Blanco. Last year, Renel Blanco uh, had a a four point five zero ERA. I, I did mix that up. Tanner Houck last year had a, f- a five ERA, and Renel Blanco had a four point five zero ERA. Renel Blanco was a part time starter. Uh, starting in only seven of his 17 games, had a 4.50 ERA, and things didn't look good. But this year, Renel Blanco has been terrific because Renel Blanco this year has a 2.998 ERA, has been terrific for the Astros, has a record of 9-6 and six with the Strohs this year, and has a no-hitter as well in his first start of the season, which is so hard to get a no-hitter in April compared to any of the other months in the season. Uh, in your first start of the of the regular season, uh, you don't see that often at all. Um, but so these are two starting pitchers right here, who last year were not good at all. One of them, Renel Blanco, was barely a starter at all. He'd only start in seven of his seventeen games. But this year, they have both turned into really good starting pitchers for their separate teams. Renel Blanco. Uh, having one of the best years out of all Astros starting pitchers. I think the only two that you could maybe say have been better uh, is Framber Valdez, which I, I, I think would be hard to argue that one. Potentially, Framber's had a great year. Uh, and then Hunter Brown has had a great second half, but I think I'd rather take Renel Blanco's season than Hunter Brown, um, even though Hunter Brown's had a way better second half of the season than Renel has. Uh, but these are both two pitchers right here who have had 
a great season uh, in their best career career years right here for both of these guys. And I'm excited to see the pitching matchup uh, today and and who out you know who goes out there and does a better job. But let's get into offense because we're going to talk about the Astros lineup today. Uh, it's an interesting starting lineup. I would say this lineup is absolutely perfect if instead of John Singleton playing at DH uh, for the Astros, the Astros added in Victor Caratini in this lineup. I don't see what the point of John Singleton is if you know if he's not going to be playing first base. I know the Astros want to give him some time off at first base. I'm totally okay with that uh, because he's been playing for months, almost every day, uh, or basically every day. Um, and so I have no problem with the Astros wanting to give him time off for first base. I thought that was a big reason why they ended up calling up Zach Dezinzo, uh, and he's been great for the Astros. Uh, John Singleton is very valuable defensively at first base, but if his bat does not show up for the Astros, he brings nothing at DH. I don't, I don't really like that addition uh, in the lineup if he's not playing first base. And you want to give him some time off for the potential postseason. I honestly would love to just see him have the complete day off anyways. And after what we saw from Victor Caratini in his last outing, I thought the lineup that Joe Espada used uh, in their last game on Wednesday was perfect. Um, you know, and, and everybody is in the lineup that was in Wednesday's game where the Astros won. And they had 11 hits, or it was 12 hits. Um, and or, No, actually, I think it was like 12 or 13 hits that the Astros had on Wednesday. Everybody that was in that lineup is in this lineup today, outside of Victor Caratini, who had a two for four, a two for, it was like a two for three day or two for four day with a home run. But everybody in the lineup is, is, that was in that game on Wednesday is in that lineup today besides him. And they had in John Singleton, who in the couple games before uh, he has gotten some time off, was absolutely doing terrible. So uh, disappointed that Victor Caratini is not in the lineup, and I would have loved to have seen Joe Espada go with the same lineup he went with on Wednesday because I thought that worked really well against the Rangers. But it is what it is. Uh, but here's what the Astros lineup looks like. Lead off Jose Altuve playing second base, of course. At two is Alex Bregman playing third base. At three is Jordan Alvarez playing left field. At four at the cleanup is catcher Yanner Diaz. At five is DH John Singleton. At six is shortstop Jeremy Pena. At seven is first baseman rookie Zach Dezinzo. At eight is center fielder Jake Myers. At nine is right fielder Mauricio Dubon. Don't mind Dubon in the lineup after his good game on Wednesday. Better than Chas McCormick? That's for sure. Let me know your thoughts on the Astros. Game 115 starting off the series against the Boston Red Sox. Excited to have two Houston sports teams on tonight as the Texans take on the Pittsburgh Steelers at 6 o'clock. And so do the Astros taking on the Red Sox. So Astros and Texans baseball and football on tonight. Uh, It's been a while since we've seen two Houston sports teams on at the same time. I think first time since since March or April with the Rockets and the Astros. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and peace out.